Among all the tinsel and lights, I'm strolling around. Just wondering where you. Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome to Trending Reviews. I just want to start off by saying Merry Christmas to everyone. If you don't celebrate Christmas, just want to say Happy Holiday Season to you guys, and I hope you guys have a wonderful New Year. So I'm pretty excited for Christmas this morning. I got the brand new iPad Pro. And I've been wanting to get this since the day it came out. I didn't get a chance to do that. So I'm super excited right now. I'm gonna give you a quick unboxing, a couple of features that this thing can do, a bit of the spec overview, and then just to set it up and uh, see how it looks. So let's just get straight into it. All right guys, let's go ahead and unbox this. So it's got a nice little peel that you can just take off. This is one of the most satisfying parts. All right, so let's go ahead and open the box. This is the uh, 64 gigabyte space gray 11 inch iPad. So I'm just gonna go ahead, peel that out. Just slot that out. There you have, this thing is a beaut. Now, obviously you can get a lot of fingerprints on this as well, so that's one thing to be aware of. So I'll run through the specs in a second. What else have we got in the box? So we've got the user guide. We've got the uh, power plug. So it is powered by a faster USB-C and I will be getting the uh, keyboard and pencil with it fairly soon. So keep an eye out for that. Okay, so just to give you an idea of what it comes with. So you have the uh, speakers here along the top. You have the uh, microphone input, you have the power button there. At the bottom, you also got loads of speakers there and you have the USB-C charging port. And then on the right hand side, you've got the uh, magnetic holder for the Apple Pencil, which will automatically charge it as well as when you place it on there. So on the back, you do have that raised bump uh, for the camera. It is a 12 megapixel camera. And you also have a flash there as well. And then you also have the magnetic connectors there for the Apple keyboard at the bottom. Now I like the feel of these buttons as well because they're very small, they're very thin. Don't know if you can see from that angle. So they don't stick out too much. I'm gonna go ahead, set this up and give you guys a quick review. Right, so this thing is beautiful. It comes with a liquid retina display. Like I mentioned, it's 11 inch. It's got an LED backlit multi-touch display. It is 4K and the camera can record up to 4K at 60 frames per second, like most smart devices nowadays as well. Now, the one thing that really stands out about this is its speed and it comes with the new A12X Bionic chip processor, which is 64-bit architecture from Apple. Probably one of the fastest things out there for any tablet right now. And although I won't be using this much for the camera, it does have a really good camera on there. So it comes with 12 megapixels with f1.8 aperture, and you can also do digital zoom up to five times as well, which is awesome. Now it doesn't have a home button, so it's all swipe gestures. And one thing I've really liked about Apple products is that the swiping and the gesture controls on the iOS has been so smooth, and it's probably one of the best out there for any tablet. Now I'm going to give you a full review on the iPad Pro camera as well very soon. So keep an eye out and subscribe so you won't miss that one. So the first thing that really stands out on this for me is the design. It's just sleek. It's got very minimal bezels on there as well. It looks actually kind of a bit like my uh, TV downstairs, which is pretty, pretty much edge to edge screen. So it doesn't come with any home button. So it is face unlock. I've just set that up. So I'll just look at it, swipe up and I'm in. So pretty smooth, very seamless, much like the uh, iPhone XS. I've got really good experience using the iPhone XS Max and it just resembles that pretty much on point. The A12X Bionic processor chip inside is just super fast. Now, if you've got the Google Slate tablet, which is also the next flagship tablet that came out around the same time as the iPad Pro, you'll notice that there's a lot more lag in the OS for the Google Slate and once you start using it more and more, it will become such a hassle that comparing it to the iPad, there is no competition. Apple will win 100% of the time. So there's a lot of things what this iPad can do. Now I'm gonna use this for my work laptop and see how that goes for the couple of weeks. Now I have ordered the Apple Pencil and the Apple Keyboard. 
to complement this Christmas gift I received. So I'm gonna be using that as my full-time work laptop. And I'll give you guys a two week review on how that's gone. So make sure you subscribe so you won't miss that one. But that's really it guys. So I'm gonna give you some really awesome videos. I'm gonna use Final Cut Pro on this for video editing. I'm gonna connect some external hard drives through USB-C and start importing videos to see if that works. I'm gonna connect to Apple TV to the iPad Pro. Uh, see if that can stream Netflix and Amazon Prime and all that kind of stuff. So some really unique videos coming out. I'm gonna test on this. I guarantee no one else is doing those tests and uh, I'm sure you're gonna like it. So other than that, I hope you liked the video. If you have any comments, do drop them down below. Again, I hope you guys have a very good Christmas and a very happy holidays and I will see you guys very soon. Take care.